sorry about that. So, uh, and as I said, uh, great to be here, and I already learned uh, two new words. Uh, what was it? It's not hotspot, it's hotbed. I understand. It's not only co-creation, it's co-action. And I think that that is two of the things that we see a lot of uh, within uh, life sciences now in Sweden. And we've seen so much action over the last year. So one may wonder, really, why do we at all need a life science strategy? We've seen uh, totally different types of ecosystems uh, arising. I think that the happening around the AstraZeneca BioVenture Hub has actually changed the way that we collaborate a little bit uh, in Sweden. And what is happening here also now with the, uh, uh, with the new investments in life science in Gothenburg, what is happening uh, at Lindholmen uh, with the new uh, AI investment, which I understand will not only work with the mobility and technology, but also life sciences and culture. And I think that that is uh, really so interesting. But we are, uh, I would uh, say, uh, at least one of the leading life science nations. But in order to stay ahead, we do have a lot of challenges. Uh, and when a lot are presented, you see that there are so many things going on, but we will definitely um, keep being challenged uh, within this area because we're good at collaboration, but we're no, not so very good at speed. And that is probably uh, what we need to uh, pick up uh, a little bit. There have been uh, quite a lot of investments also from the government side uh, for the past years. We've had a strategic innovation program collaboration uh, with all the actors on board uh, and the national coordinator Anders Lundberg and I'm now uh, taking over that role from him. And the, and the role as national coordinator is not only to coordinate nationally but to be a contact point for international actors that want to have a dialogue uh, with Sweden for investments. So that is something that is continuously growing. And in my Vinova role, I've really seen that, uh, that happening. Uh, also within production, and I think that that is really important. We should always talk about that we are a strong production nation within life sciences also. Not at least the uh, investments that has uh, come within the biopharmaceuticals, uh, uh, both in uh, Södertälje and in Strängnäs, but also in Uppsala. Uh, and I see that the new uh, Testa Center is uh, present here from G Healthcare. Is, that is also one of the new... Uh, test beds or hot beds uh, that are, are uh, a new place for uh, co-action uh, in that sense. Uh, but we also face a, a lot of challenges, not only from the cost base, but really to be able to attract talents. And uh, moreover, perhaps, uh, we need a common strategy to be able to stay ahead and have Swedish strongholds within life sciences 10 years from now. Uh, that is really one of the reasons why we need a, a, a common vision and a common strategy. And also, uh, and one thing, and you're probably very good at that, uh, that here, but many parts of Sweden are not, and that is really telling internationally uh, about really our strongholds and uh, what we are great at uh, in, this, uh, in this area, in this field. So that uh, was the reason after having had a national coordinator for, uh, for four years. Uh, the Swedish government in February um, and the ministers for uh, enterprise and uh, innovation, uh, higher education and research and uh, social affairs together uh, decided to really uh, start working within the government offices also uh, with the uh, uh, strong collaboration. So my, my, my miss, mission as uh, national coordinator and director of the new Office for Life Sciences uh, within the government offices is, uh, and, and the purpose is extremely broad, promote innovation, knowledge and quality development throughout the sector within academia, industry and healthcare and, and home care uh, in order to, of course, uh, improve investments for uh, for uh, con and better conditions for life science investments in Sweden. To be able to uh, 
uh, put, uh, go forward this, uh, with this task of uh, coordination, we of course need to set priorities. Now, that is probably one of the most important and one of the most difficult things to do. Because when you prioritize, you also uh, select. Uh, and, uh, but we need to do that. We need to, to uh, put focus on a few areas so that we can uh, speed up the work. And we need to put focus on the areas that are not happening if uh, we're not doing anything uh, special about it. Uh, and that is also uh, why, uh, from the government side, one of my tasks is to put forth uh, a new life science strategy for Sweden. And uh, what this means, uh, I really want to talk to you uh, and talk, uh, have a dialogue with you about today, because it's not a life science strategy from the government. It's a life science strategy for Sweden. And then you all know what the real challenge uh, is about that. And that is about anchoring. Because in Sweden, we can't just decide and then do. We need to anchor, and then we can go really, really far. And uh, so, so when doing so, uh, I think that we have a lot from, the, from industry and ac academia always on board. But from, from the healthcare perspective and from the ecosystem, also with the, with the governmental agencies, we all really need to be on board on this. And really to feel from all the strong regions within life science in Sweden that uh, those are really national regions and we will build on that. Uh, but this is, this is uh, and this is really how my team works also uh, within the government. Uh, so we have, uh, I have a team uh, with uh, people from all the three ministries working together and we have access to all the uh, competences within the government offices. But that doesn't mean that it's easy, uh, but we definitely have the capacity in order to do so. Uh, and my steering committee, uh, is the, uh, are the three state secretaries from the three uh, ministers. Now that is, of course, a little bit challenging time now. Time-wise, it's not such a big problem right now because we are in a, in a phase where we need input uh, to develop a strategy. Uh, but soon to be, we really need a decision maker uh, in the house. Uh, but we also, of course, a, a part of the anchoring is to have a great uh, advisory board. And we've, we have the same advisory board that has also been the innovation partnership uh, program uh, for the past uh, four years. So I didn't have a picture of those, but... Uh, uh, and those are, are actors present from the big uh, companies, from AstraZeneca here, uh, from, uh, uh, from academia, from health, the healthcare sector, from the professions, because we, we really need the professions. And I don't know uh, how, how many doctors and nurses uh, that are, are working on a daily basis that are in the room, but you are really essential in order to make this happen. But not at least, of course, uh, the patients and us as individuals uh, in that sense, and that because that's really something that we need for, for co-creation. But we have, of course, the uh, advisory board uh, to give advice, to work on, on anchoring, and to be a highlight uh, of, uh, of this also internationally. And we ha when we have people uh, like uh, uh, Carl uh, Bennett on board, that really gives us also an international uh, flair. Uh, and when I talk... Uh, uh, about the strategy, we are really working with a holistic and long-term perspective. Because we need to work with these systemic challenges that we have, where we need to see a transformation on the regulatory requirements when we're moving into a new area of medicine, for example. Because we also need to work long-term to be able to attract new knowledge and new competences and, and uh, new investors. And uh, the, the, uh, having the patients and the individuals in the driver's seats give up, so gives Sweden a trademark of being really a hub where uh, co-creation and co-action uh, happens. Uh, and I see that definitely a lot in my dialogues because uh, uh, Many of the companies are now having that, of course, as a strategy within the corporation itself uh, to have a patient board, to have a uh, collaboration on that. Uh, 
But that is also, of course, a, a coming uh, sales argument for Sweden. We're good at collaboration. We're even uh, uh, better at, uh, at co-creation. Because we, of course, need to set fo uh, focus much more on prevention and health more than on uh, sickness and care. And if we would have an overall vision uh, of the life science strategy, 10 years from now, maybe we have shifted to putting 90% in care not to only put 80% focus on, on care. If we would be able to invest 20% in health, that would be a total revolution. Um, so that is uh, something that also needs to be included in this work. Uh, to be able to be internationally attractive and find the next uh, generation of uh, strengths um, of life sciences in Sweden. So in order to do this, and in order to be able uh, to have a... Uh, Dialogue. We have published a roadmap in June, and the uh, the roadmap for life science is not more than an invitation for a dialogue. We want input from all of you, and we want it uh, now, basically. So it's for uh, from the from the coming month to be able to uh, set forth a first version uh, of the strategy. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking at the nat national strategic work uh, as something that we need to do in steps. So we are having a lot of dialogue. Maybe we should take a step back and wait with the strategy for a year so we can work better in, on anchoring. But then I believe it won't really happen because if we're not, uh, if the government is not saying that we're wanting, we want to get somewhere and we're willing to put efforts into this, uh, then it's also difficult to start that uh, dialogue. Uh, so I'm still working on the on the timeline that we will have a national strategy. Uh, around New Year's, which does not mean before New Year. But for, for the, and the three priority areas that we have chosen, those are natural. Those are not, uh, by the way, uh, the content or the disposition of the strategy. But these are three priority areas that we definitely uh, need to work with. Uh, and the first, and I, th I would say foremost, if we don't get the work around efficient use of health data in Sweden, uh, we won't be a leading life science nation uh, 10 years from now. We have the unique... Uh, uh, infrastructure and abilities. We have the really quality of data that uh, all institutions that are working on artificial intelligence are looking for, but we don't have the accessibility uh, for the holistic uh, use of the data. We really need to get around that. So that has to do with uh, uh, interoperability, of course, and, but it also has to do uh, a lot with the uh, legal jurisdiction and the framework. But this is difficult, and this is why we uh, definitely need a dialogue uh, with, uh, with many of the, uh, of the regions, uh, be uh, because they, they are the legal jurisdictions uh, from the uh, muni municipality regions for, and from the regional data. Uh, and, and you all know that within the Västerlöjötalands uh, region, that's probably one of the best ways of looking at it, how difficult it is to transfer data when you follow a patient all through the patient's life and, and, and the circle. So that's also why we have a lot of regional uh, dialogues uh, uh, with the whole life science office. We've been in Linköping and in Uppsala. We will come to uh, Gothenburg in a couple of uh, weeks just to sit down and, and discuss uh, these type of challenges. We'll be in Skåne and we will be uh, up in uh, Luleå. Uh, so this is uh, some of the areas that we really need to get around in order to get a, a much more faster and efficient also use of the uh, quality registries and the biobank uh, uh, data that we have. So if you will remember one thing, we will work on a systemic transformation in this area. We don't really know what the, what the uh, biggest and uh, uh, the most challenging actions are, are. We have it on top level, but we don't have it really granularly. So we need your input on there. There's so many interesting examples uh, happening. Uh, for example, in Sweden, the... Um, uh, analytical arena around this. This is also a uh, national uh, collaboration. Uh, and something that we're really going, doing great in Sweden is we're taking artificial intelligence and putting it into medical use and medical decision-making uh, from the start. 
So I only have one minute left and I will uh, speed up the, uh, the talk and round up. But the other two priorities areas has, of course, to do with uh, precision medicine, the individualization of medicine, uh, something when we're go going into real world data, real world uh, evidence, we will be, be able to be extremely more precise. Uh, this is an area where we really want Sweden to be a forerunner. Also when it comes to uh, policy uh, development, when we're talking about uh, ethics, integrity, security, all the different uh, things uh, together, of course, with the um, regulatory framework. Uh, and last uh, but not least, we need to move over to, uh, to the paradigm where we have uh, innovation and research and development as part of every, the everyday work in our whole... Uh